Good evening. I call to order the meeting of the Design Review Board. Today's date is October 23rd, 2023. Uh, would you like to read the roll call, Matt? Yep. Uh, Enskeep excused. Martin excused. Ha? Here. Rashid? Here. Thalzer? Here. Tibbet? Here. Tilka? Here. Stineker? Here. Anderson? Consideration of the August 28th, 2023 meeting minutes. Are there any changes or corrections? Is there a motion? Second. All in favor say yes. 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 All opposed say no. All right, motion passes. No old business, new business, case DR 2319, request for design review, CD downtown zoning district. Exterior remodel at 206 East Fifth Street, Streamline Architects. Petitioner on behalf of 206 Partners, LLC. All right, I can kind of just go through the slides and Pete, yeah. if you want to fill in. Sounds great. Sure. All right, so the subject property, 206 East Fifth Street, it's the former 3E uh, Electrical Engineering and Equipment Company building. So located on the corner there of Perry and Fifth Street. So. This project is repurposing an old industrial building. So there's a couple photos of the existing condition of the building, and then there's the parking lot right there on the corner. Uh, a few more photos. Uh, so you could see kind of the industrial look of the building, the barbed wire fence uh, in front of that loading dock, and then it has pavement that goes right up to the edge of the wall. Uh, existing streetscaping will be redone with this project as well. Um, so you could just see the sidewalk condition there it kind of slopes down towards the street. So it definitely needs a facelift. So here are the proposed renderings. Um, so the building's going to be repurposed with, uh, retail on the first floor. So I believe there's, uh, interest for a gym tenant, a restaurant, and then a retail space. Not really a restaurant. But Not a restaurant. A wine retailer. Okay. Yeah. And then eight apartment units on the second floor. So I'll just kind of scroll through the slides. You can see the streetscaping will be installed with raised planters in front. Um, building will be repainted. Some of those openings on the first floor will be filled in with uh, new glass windows. So that would be the gym tenant um, over on the right side of the photo. So one of the loading docks, that entrance will be removed and a new storefront entrance will be put in its place. Um, the second, or above the roof of the first floor will become a amenity space for the tenants. So you can see people up there in this rendering. Um, the green space in front of the building will be synthetic turf. Um, just provide an area for people to recreate and sit outdoors. Kind of just another view of that storefront in front of the business. Kind of gives you a sense of what the streetscaping looks like in that photo with the raised planters. Um, so this is a Elevation, what you'd see from Fifth Street. Um, so these are the color choices, I believe. No, that's the no? first I've ever seen of that. To be honest with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have a word no, with that, uh, your the architect. One on the, left, <laughs> the one on the west side would be contiguous. It'd be a tan. I don't know what the exact color choice is, but okay, not red. Okay, it's more like the renderings, less like exactly that. like that more 3D like the... rendering. Would okay, be, the white's the one story for the gym tenant. That'll remain sort of differentiates the two. The two store will be one color and it'll be tan or whatever that okay. grayish. I like that better. Not red. I like sure. That. Um, so this kind of gives you a sense of the existing building down below and then with the refurbished openings, um, they'll have signage for the two uh, tenant spaces there on the left and then you have awnings placed over entryways just to kind of signal where the public commercial entrances are separate from the residential. Um, thank you for removing the barbed wire fence. <laughs> <laughs> Not needed anymore. Yeah. 
Uh, yep. And then here's the site plan. So that parking lot will be uh, resurfaced with the dumpster enclosure at the end. Uh, new sidewalk installed. They'll have raised planters, outdoor seating areas, the synthetic turf. Um, the street design follows our downtown streetscaping protocol. So that'll be consistent with other areas in our downtown. Um, so with that, staff is recommending approval in accordance with the submitted work write-up, uh, just subject to two conditions. Uh, one being that and the installation of signage will require a separate application for design review with more details provided. And the second one being that the dumpster enclosure be fully screened and gated with the six to eight foot tall solid fence or wall, just since it is so visible being there on the corner. Do you have anything else you'd like to add? No, I think that covers it. So the red paint will go away. Okay. <laughs> Other than that, yeah, pretty straightforward. Um, with the apartments, is it going to be like four in the front and four in the back? Is that, I saw yeah, four. Yeah, essentially, it, yeah. Okay, it, it, they're, they're not going to go all the way in, through. No, okay. we're cutting in new windows on the east side. Okay. Uh, that will overlook the kind of amenity deck, if you will. I, actually, I think there's, yeah four or five along that west wall, and then kind of two and three in the corners. So, like, are they one bedroom then, or two, one, I, or studios, or? Man, now you're, now you're really testing I'm it. sorry. <laughs> uh, I, think they're, I think they're all one bedrooms. Okay. Yeah, pretty sure they're one bedroom. Cool. I should know this. Move to approve with the staff recommendations or requirements. Second. Any other questions or comments from the board? Can we do a vote, Matt? No. Ha? Yes. Rashid? Yes. Salazar? Yes. Tibbet? Yes. Tilka? Yes. Stineker? Yes. Anderson? Awesome. Thanks for coming down. My pleasure. See you next week. Yeah. Or some people next week. <laughs> Different people. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Uh, case DR2320, uh, request for design approval, CD Downtown Zoning District, installation of a new gutter system at 401 West River Drive, City of Davenport Petitioner. All right. So this is the Freight House Farmer's Market, uh, which we're familiar with, located at River Drive and Ripley Street. There on the corner. Uh, the city of Davenport is going to be installing a new gutter system on the building. So as part of that, we've taken a look at the full building and the different gutters that are on it. So there's currently three different types and styles of gutters, depending on what side of the building we're looking at. So the city wants to get feedback from the board, um, basically on what gutter color or options uh, you find preferable. So these photos show the south elevation, so facing towards uh, the Mississippi River. Uh, they have steel gutters on this side, um, kind of blend in a little bit with that like creamish concrete color of the wall. A few more different photos just to kind of give you a sense and a feel of it. So they kind of blend in on this side. Um, now this is looking at be the corner of River and Ripley. and Ripley. This is more of the historic brick side um, where you'd be looking at the light looking at the building. So they have, a, I'm calling this a dark bronze downspout. So it kind of blends in a little bit different with the character of the brick. And then there is the patio area on the west side of the building. So this is black gutters and downspouts, kind of hard to see in this photo. It blends in uh, fairly well with the, the overhang. So as you can see, we have three different colors going on. So we could, the city could continue with that for each area, go black on the overhang, bronze on the brick portion or steel on the storefront, or we can go one uniform color kind of looking for feedback uh, before it goes out to bid. So 
recommendation is to provide guidance on color choices. So, and were the windows as they've been replaced black? So the yeah. storefront windows that were approved haven't been installed yet, mm -hmm. but those were dark bronze. The windows on the building itself, the historic facade, are like a dark green color. And then on the south side, I think those are also dark browns, like a... Oh yes, you can see the top row windows. Top those row, have okay. green trim on them. These windows have green trim. And assuming all those are going to have to be replaced in the road. Yeah, at some the windows, point in time. Um, yeah. they're, they're rotting. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. will they be dark bronze when they're replaced? That was kind of when I was talking to facilities management about it, that we want some kind of consistency. And since the design review boards are approved, uh, bronze windows mm -hmm. that uh, through that other request, I said plan on doing that kind of style. I honestly think that maybe the dark bronze gutters would be uh, the better way since the windows have already, some have been approved. It'll add a nice contrast to the lighter tones, but blend in with the windows when they're all done. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, I think the new new windows with dark bronze and new gutters that are all dark bronze would be uh, preferable, at least for me. Um, and then I think when we replace these windows, um, I, I think they would also need to be bronze to match everything else. Mm -hmm. The patio, the patio was black, though. So these ones are black. And is that roof black? So I think those beams, if the photo on the left, you can see the beams that go across. I kind of think it's a darkish brown. Oh, I don't know if that's quite black. So yeah. I think okay. if it was black or bronze, I think it'd be a very minor difference between maybe the two of those colors there. And I'm on board with the dark brown. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any cost difference, or does it matter? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. <clears throat> How do we go about voting for this? Just so I think if someone would want to make a motion on a color, mm -hmm. and then a second, and then a roll call. I move for the dark bronze color. Second. Any other questions or nothing? All right. So I'll do roll call. Uh, so Stinnaker? Yes. Anderson? Yes. Hoff? Yes. Rashid? Yes. Salzer? Yes. Tibbet? Yes. And Tilka? Yes. Right. Motion passes. Uh, any general discussion? Nope. None from staff. Okay. <laughs> when is the December meeting? So I think we did move that a week early because um, yeah. of Christmas. So um, I will confirm for sure and let you know. Mm -hmm. the, thing, the November meeting, though, is the week of Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. So that Monday. So. Should be like the 20th, I think. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's, it's right there. <laughs> okay. So. Oh, oh, congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> <That's exciting. laughs> wow. I guess that's a reason not to come. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you know what? If you can't have a meeting because you're not going to have a meeting, I'll we'll have it call you. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll uh, video chat. I'll call you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, thank you. Uh, do we have a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Was that a second? Second. <laughs> All in favor say yes. yes. All opposed say no. Second three times. Feel really good about it. Motion carries. See everybody in November.